The human brain is a fascinating organ. Comprised of over 100 billion neurons and glial cells, our brain allows us to ingeniously solve the problems of food, shelter, mates, and Sudoku. Part of that genius comes from the fact that we essentially have two brains in one skull, our left and right hemispheres. The two hemispheres are connected at a single dense bundle of neurons called the corpus callosum. This connection not only boosts our computing power, it gives us an integrated sense of self. So what would happen if our two halves stopped talking to each other? There's actually a name for it, and it's called split brain syndrome. In one case of naturally occurring split brain syndrome, a woman had a stroke in her corpus callosum. When she was admitted to hospital, she complained, among other things, that her left hand had a will of its own. The rogue hand would do things like close doors that the right had opened, shut books that the right hand was reading, or even snatch money back that the right had paid. Her two brains were no longer communicating and began making decisions independently. Sounds jarring, but surgically removing the corpus callosum can be a last resort for those suffering from severe epileptic seizures, which result from overly chatty brain cells. It's kind of like splitting up two hyperactive kids. The corpus callosum, while not required for survival, may be the source of the unique state of human consciousness. And whether the result of stroke or surgery, split brain syndrome gives us a small glimpse into the mysterious corners of our mind, even if they are a bit creepy.